Hi everyone, in this video we'll go over everything related to functions for the tiered progress bar. If you haven't created a smart cart with a tiered progress bar, feel free to follow along and create one with me. Let's go into the goal box section and add a tiered progress bar. By default, use Shopify functions will be enabled. This will mainly be used for the product tiers and discount tiers. We'll skip over the free shipping tier as that is for visual purposes only and has no relation to functions. So let's switch the free shipping tier to a free product tier. At this point, feel free to put any product that's active in stock and available for sale on the online store and adjust the unlock price to whatever you desire. In my case, I'll add the sandwich and save my changes. Okay, great. Go ahead and preview your smart cart and add until you've reached the product tier. Then let's go to the checkout page and see whether or not this product has been fully discounted. And there we go. Currently by default, the discount title will come out to be product discount. If you're looking to change that, head back to your smart cart settings and go into the configure labels and text setting. Then under product discount text, feel free to put whatever discount you want. I'll just put free sandwich. But on second thought, let me show you something really cool. Instead of sandwich, by using your keyboard shortcut and doing control command space, or if you're on Windows, Windows key and period, all at the same time, you can type out emojis. You can already do this with Shopify discounts and it works perfectly for this type of discount. So I'll look for a sandwich emoji. Give that a save and refresh the checkout page. You'll now see that text reflect there. Now you may be wondering, can we see this discount that Functions has created? Well, yeah, in the discounts page of your Shopify admin, you'll see a discount in the name and type of rebuy product discount. So although the name is rebuy product discount, this specific name does not reflect how it shows at checkout. You may also wonder, would creating another product here create another discount in Shopify? Well, let's test that out. Let's add another product here and select a product to earn. And let's hit save. After unlocking all the tiers, head to checkout and you'll see that both of your products are being discounted for free. Now there are a couple of things to go over here. First, you'll see that the free sandwich is appearing on both products. Well, currently that's to be expected. If we go to our tiered progress bar settings and hover over the tooltip, you can see that the product discount text will only reflect what's given in the first product tier. So if we make the discount text of the first product tier empty, while we rename the second to free gift, let's go and see what that looks like on the checkout page. As you can see, it only shows product discount, which is the default text of when there's no custom text, which would be true for the first tier. So in this case, we'll want to have a more generic name for the product discount. So let's go into the first tier and put something like free gift. Let's save our changes and head back to the checkout page. There we go. That looks much better. Okay, so back on topic. Will there be more discounts created by functions that will be listed in Shopify? Well, no. All the discounts being applied to the product tiers will be grouped in a single discount under rebuy product discount. The same will apply for when we create multiple discount tiers as well. So let's head back and add a couple of discount tiers. First, when we add a discount tier, use Shopify functions will be hidden from the UI. That's because the discount tier can only be powered by functions. That brings me to my next point. Let's remove this tier for the time being and scroll back up. If we untoggle the use Shopify function setting, the discount tier will be hidden from the user. This would also be because of the reasoning mentioned before. Okay, so let's add a discount tier. You can have either a percentage or a fixed discount. Let's roll with a fixed discount for now and let's say $50 off an order of 500. Let's save and preview our changes. Let's add to cart and reach the first discount tier. So far, the math adds up and if we go to checkout, you'll see that ordered discount being applied right below. Again, the name of this discount can also be changed through our settings. So let's change this to $50 off. Then let's create another discount tier where we'll have 20% off an order of $1,000. And let's also change the order discount text to 20% off. 
let's save and preview our changes. First, let's refresh our checkout page to see the change in the discount name. Perfect. Let's head back and add to cart until we reach the final tier and head to checkout. Since the overall amount being discounted is much greater than the $50 off discount, only the 20% off discount will apply. And if we go to our Shopify admin, you'll see that there is one functions discount under the name and type of rebuy order discount. And just to keep in mind, by default, these discounts are set to combine with all types, including product, shipping, and order discounts. So whichever one is the greatest discount, it will apply to the order. A few quick notes to make of discounts and functions. Currently, you won't be able to see how discounts are affecting the cart in the smart cart preview. However, if you wanted to test the discounts out in a different smart cart, you still can in preview mode. For example, I have this duped copy of a smart cart that has four percentage discount tiers. We can't see how that reflects in the preview of the smart cart editor due to the current limitation, but when we preview this cart, you'll be able to see how the discounts are applied from this specific smart cart. Okay, so let's jump back to the live smart cart. What happens if we don't want to use this smart cart anymore, or if we don't want to use the discounts that are being created from this smart cart? Well, we can switch to a smart cart that has no product or discount tiers. So when I set that cart to live, you can see that we're no longer getting any discounts applied. If we take a look in our Shopify admin, these discounts still exist. However, not to worry, since functions are based on the settings of the cart that is actively being previewed, no actual discounts are being applied in this case because no product or discount tiers from this tiered progress bar have been created. You can still delete these from the Shopify admin and if you were to click on any of these discounts, you'd be redirected to the rebuy admin. So let's go ahead and delete these discounts. If we now modify this smart card to use a product or discount tier, a discount will be created through functions and will be reflected on the discounts page of your Shopify admin again. Okay, cool. Have any questions or feedback related to how functions work with the tiered progress bar or are you curious to explore and wonder if other types of scenarios are possible? Feel free to jot them down for our team to review. Thanks for watching.